Hi, Kristen here. Um, we'll be getting to the main video very shortly, but I wanted to include a quick intro to include things that I couldn't that I didn't include in the actual video. One of those is why I started this in the first place, and that is that I had been um, I've been missing out on teaching Sunday school over the past few weeks, as we're all missing out on the public things that we do um, during this time, and. I was thinking and praying about any way that God would have me to minister to others, um, any way I can reach out or or help others. And um, the idea, the idea came to mind that I could just share some of the things that we're going to be doing for Easter this year. And um, so the next day we were going to be making these resurrection rolls, and I decided to video that and um, just kind of like invite you into our home and let you see how that activity went for us and um, so that you could learn from our mistakes and um, and learn from what you like of what we did and um, and also just laugh and 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 just see um, some of the things that can go on while you try to do one of these thing, kinds of things so um, I just wanted to encourage you that even if you feel like you, when you're trying to do an activity like this, you feel like you talk too long, share too many details, share the wrong details, um, stumble over your words and say the wrong things, or if you, um, you know, get mixed up, you can't remember certain things, or you don't talk enough and you feel like you forgot to say something important or whatever, that, um, you can also get interrupted. Things can go wrong, like you can't find what you're looking for, get spilled, or spill ha you know get half a bottle of vanilla dumped into the recipe, and you don't know if it's going to turn out. Um, I just wanted to encourage you that it still can um, be a blessing to you and your kids, and um, be totally worth your time, even if it ends up taking a lot longer than what you expected when you started out, and. Uh, Let's see. So, and also, it can still turn out yummy, 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 yummy in Garrett's words. So, I'm going to include the recipe below in case you would like to cook along with us. And that way, you can follow along at your own pace, no matter where we are in the recipe. Um, and also, I'm going to try and include the four gospel accounts at the very end so that you'll have that together along with your activity in case you want to be refreshed on details that are included in that part of the resurrection. Thing, um, in the resurrection in each of the four Gospels. So um, we can get a much more complete picture by compiling those things together. Each of the Gospel writers only part wrote the part for the purposes and um, the details that God inspired them to write, and you put all four together and and um, do some, let, let the Holy Spirit help you to see how those pieces fit, and you have a more complete picture than just one of the Gospels alone. So you guys just enjoy, enjoy each other uh, during this time and um, just know that no matter what goes wrong there's always a plan B and um, that God is with you, that he loves you and um, you guys have a blessed Easter. Bye. Alright, so right here we're going to be making some resurrection rolls today. Garrett, well, what do you want to do with it? Sandpaper. Huh? Sandpaper. Sandpaper. Don't yell. Sandpaper. What do you want to do with it? Sandpaper. That's not sandpaper. That's yeast. Yeah. Say yeast. Yeast. Yeah. Sugar. Sugar. So we have two teaspoons of yeast and a tablespoon of sugar right here. No, no. Oh. Now, it's just going to be a little short on some sugar right there, I think. Yeah, but it's really so probably be able to taste Okay. So we're going to get some warm milk because yeast. Yeast needs warm milk to activate. So, Asher, will you get some a uh, half cup of milk and put it in the microwave? We need it to get to be about 105 degrees Fahrenheit. So, we use our meat, meat thermometer to make sure it's 105 degrees, okay? All right. So, 
we missed you guys, and we're really glad that we have some ways of being able to have cup. We're really glad that we have a way of being able to share some of the things we can do for you, that we're doing for Easter this year with you. And so we've never made resurrection rolls, and I have no idea how this is going to go for sure, but it'll be a fun experiment, and if it works out well, you guys might be inspired to try it at home too. We're going to have it with our pumpkin chili. We're going to have them with our pumpkin chili tonight. This is Palm Sunday, so it's one week before Easter. This, was the, this is the day that we traditionally celebrate Jesus coming into Jerusalem for the last time during his earthly life while he was, you know, living as a full, you know, living in the flesh on the earth over 2,000 years ago. And he rode into, he rode into uh, Jerusalem on a donkey. It says on a colt. The colt said, would you not do the cemetery anymore since we've already had one problem with losing some of it? Thank you. I'm going to set this down over here. All right. So it's back now. Um, so the first thing we need to do to make our resurrection rolls is combine um, milk, a tablespoon of sugar, and yeast to a bowl where we will use our mixer with a dough hook, it says. Now, it says there you're using a standing mixer. I'm just going to use a regular mixer. But our milk is too hot. Asher, you don't know how long did you put it in the microwave for? So we put it in. For, keep it in for one minute. It was over 140 degrees. Um, so we're letting it cool off a little bit right now. But we'll go ahead and get some of our other ingredients ready. So we've already got the yeast, two teaspoons of yeast, and one tablespoon of granulated sugar. One tablespoon of granulated sugar added together. And so we're going to um, combine that in a minute. Then we're going to add butter. It says three tablespoons of butter. Right there. Actually, that's only two tablespoons. That's going to be for later for dipping the marshmallow. Mm -hmm. We need three tablespoons of butter. Um, and it needs to be melted. So we'll go ahead and use it straight out of the refrigerator and microwave that. Ashley, will you get a small bowl? Sarah, do you want to help me cut the butter? Oh, can I help cut the butter? How about you cut one? I cut one. He cuts one. Well, we only need three tablespoons. And so we're not going to cut. We're just going to cut. See how it says one tablespoon, two tablespoons, three tablespoons? We're just going to cut those three tablespoons off. But Garrett, I'm going to let you help me, okay? okay. All right. Here we go. There we go. Now let's set this off to the side. Can I take the wrap off? So have you washed your wait, wait. Have you, you got down and all that kind of stuff? Have you washed hands? Extra clean hands since we all went off and did something in the middle there. Again, get Seth's shoes off the table. Alright, shut up the camera. Alright. Can I take it off? Alright. You and you unwrap it. Let's put our butter back in there and the box for it and you're going to put that in there. We need to melt this and then we're going to add oh you guys are going to get to beat an egg. It says we put that in the microwave for 20 seconds. Let's see if we can get it in 20 seconds. All right and Garrett we're going to crack an egg. Now should we get me another cereal? Yes. Okay, wait a minute. Okay, turn around, Seth. Okay, you hear it? Yes. You're going to tap the egg one time, and then Seth, you're going to tap it and crack it open, okay? Okay. All right. It's just, whoa, okay. Well, never mind. It's been cracked. Yeah, at least we got to throw that egg out. Yeah, we got the shell out. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna put this here. Give it to me. 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 Give it like this. 
Oh, it sounds pretty melted. Just bring it out now. That'll be good. Ash, will you check the temperature of the milk? There. Mommy, that was wow. perfect. So today again we were saying it is palm. Today is palm day. Palm Sunday. It's Palm Sunday. And Palm Sunday is when we remember the day that Jesus was the last time that Jesus entered Jerusalem before he died, right? Before he died on the cross. This was his we so we're we're remembering the last week that our Savior spent on earth as a man. He's still alive yeah. now. He didn't die and go yeah. away forever, right? Yeah. Jesus is still alive. He oh. rose from the dead, didn't he? No, he didn't go. It doesn't seem like he went away the same week that he died. That he went. You're right. You're right. He stayed. He he was resurrected and spent some time on earth with his disciples before he was taken up to heaven and the Holy Spirit came to live in all believers, right? He said, unless I die, then you won't be able to, to receive the helper that he wanted to send behind, and that would be the Holy Spirit. So we know that Jesus, um, his resurrected his resurre body had to go back to heaven, um, and there is where he's he's prepared a place for us. Did he go to some palm Sunday because they made palm, palm branches in Because the they waved palm branches in the air. That's right. They actually worshipped Jesus as he was coming back into Jerusalem. And they, they were waving palm branches and saying, Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Can we say that? Yeah. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Of the Lord. Let's say it again. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. That's right. And they even laid their clothes out, their cloaks and things out on the dirty the dirty yucky street so that the donkey that Jesus was riding on wouldn't they would use their clothes so that the donkey that Jesus was riding on wouldn't have to get its feet dirty even like it, they were showing major respect and honor towards Jesus as he entered in but most of those people were afraid and ran off and deserted him well they all did um I wouldn't shouldn't say they all did because he did have well it's all his he was deserted by all his disciples um, there was there were some like John and Peter who stayed at a distance, but then Peter completely denied him. John stayed at a distance, and he was there at the cross, but he took a back seat role in that. Mary, his mother, was there. She wept at the cross, I believe. Um, and there were some women that stood afar off and watched what was happening. Um, but Jesus was by himself during that time when he was crucified as our sacrificial lamb. He was the Passover yeah. lamb that was sacrificed for the sins of all mankind. That count. But on Sunday, when he was entering Jerusalem, he was being honored and respected and even worshipped by the people as he came in. He was being recognized as Lord at that time. All right. Now, it says that we're going to mix the butter, yes. the egg, no, this is wrong. the sugar, and vanilla into the mixture. Let's set it over here. Are you thirsty, Karen? You want your water? Go ahead. Yeah. Okay. So we'll go ahead. We're going to go ahead and mix our butter and our egg together ahead of time. And that Seth, that, that sugar and um, cinnamon yes. mixture that you spilled a little bit of. Yep, that one. Let's go ahead and mix that in here, too. All right. Ash, shall we take that, please? Thank you. All right. You want to stir it? Can you do the whole thing? Yeah, we're going to do the whole thing. Go ahead and stir it here, right? I do too. Oops. No, you you do this. Seth, it's okay just to dump it. I'm zipping like chocolate. You're looking like chocolate? It smells cinnamony though, huh? Yeah, mm. Mm. Yes, it's kind of like chunky cinnamony 
Oh, and we used a room temperature egg, and I think the reason is that we don't want to kill the yeast that's going into this, so it's going to have some bit of rise to these rolls. Yeast makes things rise. I remember Jesus said, beware of the yeast, yeast of the Pharisees. Yeah. It seems like, I, th I think I understand that. Okay. Tell me what you think. That, like, I think it said that the, like, what the Pharisees say spread around, just like yeast spreads around the bread. Oh, very good. I think that's a good explanation of that. Um, there you go. Fair, what did the disciples think he was talking about? Do you remember? Uh, <laughs> just food. Uh, so they, thought, they thought he was saying it because they'd forgotten to bring bread with them. And then he perceived their thoughts, it said, and he was like, do you, you know, why do you think I'm talking about bread? Do you he reminded them about feeding the 5,000 and everything. But how much was left over? We're not going to watch Boz just yet. Okay? Okay. Not yet. All right, let's put this over here. We're going to add that. Asher, what's the temperature of the milk now? I just checked it. It's a little over 110, I think. A little over 110. So we're getting pretty close. All right, next... Let's go ahead and mix our sh our flour and our salt together. It's half a teaspoon of salt and two cups of flour. Of all-purpose flour. Actually, you get our flour out. We might need to get some. Oh, we should have had it sitting out because it's refrigerated. So I'm glad we're getting that out now. Let's do that. And we have some. As a matter of fact, let's leave that refrigerated. We have another bag of flour in our kitchen overflow cabinet, and we're almost out of that anyway. So we'll open up our new bag and add our old stuff to later. Okay, this is mommy's water. Okay, so we're gonna need half a teaspoon of salt to add to the two cups of flour. Let's see, what would be a good bowl to do this in? No, not. Hey, dear, what are you doing? We're sharing the countertop space. Not making popcorn right now. We're gonna make yeast rolls to go with our pumpkin chili. Yeah, why do you need pumpkin chili? We're making yeaster rolls. That's right, Asher. Yeaster rolls. Yeaster rolls. Hey, you say it all the time. I can say it once in a while if I want to. I think it was a different meaning. A different meaning? Yeah. It's just funny because yeaster rolls made you think of yeast. Like, oh yeah. Like, you know, that's awesome. That's kind of the meaning before it. So. Where's the table, or our cups and stuff? What are y'all doing over here? Oh, I took them out because I was actually here recovering it. Oh, it's trying to be helpful. What? Well, he already had Okay. We need two cups. Where's our one cups? I think we weren't on it. Fine, though, Masher. You're on it. Okay. One cup. Zach, measure out half a teaspoon of salt, please. Half a teaspoon of salt? Half a teaspoon of salt. How many of those would make a whole teaspoon? Uh, two. Yeah. Two of them. Put in just half a teaspoon, so. What's half of the half? It's less a four. Yeah. Exactly. So, what's that now? Okay, and we're really close. We still need um, a one cup measuring cup, though, for our flour. We need. Here. We also need half a teaspoon of pure vanilla extract. Oh, this is pretty good exercise. No, no. We're going to pretend that didn't happen. All right. Oh, you see the caterpillars. No. They're okay. And then we've got, we've got caterpillars. That's where, that's where Garrett's Play Doh stuff is, and he's been using that. Uh, little clay label that we had for Play-Doh. And over there on the countertop we have, I'll bring them over here for a second so you can see. We have an early, a real early Easter present here. They've, yeah, they've really grown. I should show you a picture of what they looked like when we first got them. Is it still up there, Garrett? But an early Easter present here, we get to watch caterpillars turn into butterflies. When they go into their cocoon, it's almost like when Jesus no. was buried in the tomb. Yeah. And when they come out, it's kind of an illustration no, of the no, new no, life no. that we have in Jesus Christ. Now, what is... Okay. It's kind of like when Jesus was resurrected. No. Now we need we need two cups of flour. Now should you get Seth a knife so that he can no, unlock the flour? You get to do this, okay? No. You're going to do this. No. Here we go. No. You gonna open it? Good job. Okay, we just need half a teaspoon of vanilla extract. Oh, you know what? We I don't know if we shake shook it up, Garrett. We need to put the lid back on and shake it. Okay, sorry, you just got it off. Shake it. Real hard. 
We shake vanilla extract it's because true. stuff gets stuck in on the bottom of it. <sighs> Here you go. Tap. Now we don't pack flour, right? <gasps> oh no. How is it? I don't know. I, uh, ours are going to be very vanilla y. I'll see. Wow. You hear it. You just need half a teaspoon. Not a teaspoon. Or more. Yeah. Uh -huh. And it's good with stuff too. Here, wait for mommy. I was trying to help Seth. I only did this much. Okay. So if ours don't turn out, y'all. Might be because uh, Garrett decided to put in like two tablespoons of vanilla instead of half a teaspoon. All you do is uh, oh. make a 12 batch. I guess I could just um, start again on this mixture, but I already had the egg at room temperature and everything. Plus, I'm kind of a little bit interested to find out what happens when you use too much vanilla. Ooh, it's strong smelling. Yeah, I'm going to try vanilla. And I mean, I can't talk about it. It's not. Well. Oh, please. Stir it up. We can just move it out. I don't think we couldn't tell. I don't think. No, no, no. Let's see. What was in here? This was egg. One egg. Three tablespoons of butter. Three tablespoons of granulated sugar. And half a teaspoon of cinnamon. Maybe we should do that over again? Yeah, maybe we should. Oh, I hate to. And all that vanilla that goes to waste. Let me see if I have more vanilla in the first place. You want to help stir, stir with a spoon? Yeah. Can I help stir? I'm going to stir. You have to let me help you or you won't be able to help me, okay? Okay. Stir. okay. No, it spills too much. You have to let mommy help you. Uh, it's 101 degrees. 101 degrees? Okay, that'll be close enough. All right. All right, so now what we're supposed to do is add the milk. Um, the sugar and the yeast together into this bowl. We'll do it in this bowl. How are you doing that? I don't know. You're not supposed to be able to do that with your hands, let alone your foot. Okay. Mm -hmm. Did you just do it again? Yeah. How are you doing that? I don't know. I don't know either. All right. Okay, hey, Steph, you come over here. He's annoying me, and I should say, you need to stop saying stop. He said he doesn't like it. He said stop. So let's honor that, okay? We're, we're getting close now. We're getting close to a stopping point, okay? Got it? Who got this? Thumbs up. Let's leave the door. Let's leave our cabinet shut, okay? And not bangle. Okay? Really? Say, okay. I got it. I okay. got this. I got this. Oh, I'm so glad. Really? Yes. Yes? I need boss. You need boss? Not yet. You don't need boss yet. All right, Ashley, I think you can find the dough hooks. So we're going to once you stir to combine, then we're going to let it sit for five to ten minutes. Five to ten minutes until it's frothy or foamy. Where'd the milk go, Asher? Okay, here we go. You guys ready? Yep. Can you watch, Garrett? Can you see? Can I help? You mix? Yeah. Garrett, yeah. you want to pour it? Yeah. Okay. Stir it up. Alright. I really don't know why the mixer is needed for that job. That seems more like a spatula job to me. Let me see. That was messy for those of you guys trying it. I probably would just skip the beater step if I could in this. I don't know why it came in here. No, no, no. Now you're 
Okay. It's Mary time. Memory work get, time. Press new buttons. And then tomorrow's memory work when we have school day, okay? When we have a school day tomorrow. Let's do kitchen timer. We're gonna do ten minutes. Then we go play outside. Oh wait, that's ten seconds. Mommy, mommy, mommy. Ten zero zero mommy, start. Mommy, two mommy, different kinds of timers mommy. in the kitchen. It is time to play. And already, let's show them what's happening here. Look, we're already getting bubbles. And it's supposed to show that the yeast is working. Can you, can you see it? There you go. Okay, there you go. Starting to get some bubbles. Let's leave it. Let it sit. Time to play. Let it get plenty frothy there. Yeah. Bye, boy. It's All right. a play break. It's a play break. Well over 10 minutes because our timer went off. And But it is plenty frothy now. We went out and watered a... Uh, as I said, we not watered the wounds. We went out and watered flowers and deadheaded them a little bit. Oh, yeah. okay. What are you supposed to do? It says add the butter, the sugar, egg, and vanilla mix on low speed to combine. Alright. I think this is a good video. Ashley, will you video? Garrett, hold your horses. We don't want another mess because mommy is talking to somebody else for a minute. Okay? I know. I was going to let you do it. That's why I came and set you so close to it. Mommy's going to let you do it. I know. You got I'm giving you another chance. Oh, wait a minute. I washed my hands. You Did you wash your hands? All right. We've got to stop again. Okay. We have washed hands. Garrett, you want to you dump it? You want to hold the bowl? Yeah. You hold the bowl. Well, get it where you can step back up from us a little bit so you can see people's faces and stuff. Okay. Will you hold the bowl, Garrett? Yeah. Hold it with both hands, please. Okay, now dump it. Good. Dump it? Yep. Hey, me. No, it's not, it's not chocolate. I thought you said dump it. Okay, dump first. it? Seth, go ahead and <laughs> trim this. Trim this. <clears throat> Why don't let me finish the sentence first? All right. <coughs> Stand the mixer up. Now turn the mixer on. <laughs> Go ahead. Make it on low speed and combine it all together. Now what are we going to add? I think we have to add the flour and the salt. Add salt, cinnamon, and flour mix, which we just did the salt and we did the salt and flour together. We did the cinnamon with the egg and everything. Alright. Let's add it. Go ahead. Dump it in. There's not a good way to get people's faces and get what I, you're doing. I'm good. I'm good. I want to do it. Do you want to do it? Yeah. No, do not. Do not mix at this point. It actually needs to be stirred no, together first. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yes, sir. Go. You're getting Can it stirred up. Stir? You're gonna stir this in a second. It looks like chopped. All right, Garrett. Give Seth his turn now. Oh, are you going to share or do I need to remove you? Share. Are you going to share? Okay. <laughs> I don't know what remove means, but it sounds really bad. <laughs> it means that you would not be able to participate. We'd have to set you aside. Like, I don't know. I'd probably have to put you in the timeout chair so you wouldn't get into trouble while I did it. All right. No, hey, hold on. Look. Look. I want you to keep your hands down so that I'm not, so you're not grabbing things, okay? See how he's stirring it to combine? Would you like another turn, Garrett? Yeah. All right. Seth, give Garrett another turn. It's getting hard to stir. I know. I can tell. Chocolate? Yeah. Oh. This is why they use dough hooks at this point. We might end up having to just take it out and leave it. I think you're supposed to anyway. Tell us what you want to a slightly tacky but More. firm ball forms. We're not going to be able to do that exactly. I could try. No, I try. Well, I don't, these are just totally the wrong kind of beaters, though. I meant with my hand. Perfect. Right. All right, Asher wants to take a turn. Garrett, Can give Asher it? a turn. Just stir it with the spatula okay. first, Asher. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm saying. I leave it here. Oh, mm. come on under. 
I'm going to stand back, Seth, okay? All right, guys. Get it, smile. Say hi, everybody. Hi, everybody. Hello. Hi, Arthur. We miss going to church and seeing everybody, huh? Yeah. yeah that's, that's one of the things I don't like about staying home. Um, stay. Yes. Uh, is there something other than a spatula I can use? Like a, something heart less flimsy? Um... Let's see what it looks like now. Let's go ahead and you you've got what clean hands, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, go ahead and start using your hands. To do what? To start kneading it together. Get it thoroughly, get it thoroughly mixed up into a firm hard ball. Look at Asher. Wow, sorry guys. Right. It's gonna be one trial to watch. End it, end it. You want to do it too? Hold on, give Asher his turn, then you can take a turn, okay? And can I take a turn too? Yeah, you can take a turn too. Okay. Yeah. Tell me when. I would probably consider this a pretty good turn. Slightly tacky ball. Well, it needs to be a firm haul, slightly tacky. It it looks it looks really tacky to me right now. I'd rather them need it probably after you get it a bit better. Alright. We added a little bit with our extra vanilla. I decided to add. I made an executive decision. Decided to add a little bit more flour. Right. <laughs> Not yet. We have to wait till we cook it. <laughs> Alright, we're getting to where um, Seth can take a turn now, I think. No. Let Asher decide when he's got enough of it off of his fingers. If you need to, dip it back in that flour a little bit more. Alright. Dip it down in that flour if you need to. Garrett's going to get a turn, too. We're letting your big brothers take the first turns to get it more of the right consistency. I know. He's having a sad attack. Cheer up, buckaroo. Cheer up, buck. Do you need a kiss? Cheer up, buck. And a hug? Yeah. Yeah. Mommy. Yeah. Banana. You saw the bananas? Yeah. You want some banana? Yeah. That might be a good snack to have while we let the dough ri dough rise. That's looking good. All right, it's Garrett's turn. Is that fun? You can. You don't have to wash your hands just yet. You can maybe have another turn. All right, hand it to Garrett. Alright, hold your hands like this. Good. Or um, put them on the bowl. Set them right here on the bowl. Set them like, set them like this and just kind of hold the bowl for a minute. Good. Until your turn comes again. Good job. That'll... Alright. Now, me... now it's Garrett's turn again? No. That was a really short guy. Yeah, I went a little bit. It says knead with your hands until no. smooth. Oh, smooth. It needs to be smooth, Garrett. Hold on. Okay. Well, Ashley, we're going to need the plastic wrap out. Mm -hmm. Garrett, mm -hmm. Seth's turn, then Garrett's turn, okay? Mm -hmm. Hey, Garrett, do you want to help me? There's an unsmooth spot. It looks like there's an unsmooth spot right there. Hey, Garrett, you want to help me? Mm -hmm. Good. Good job. All right, let Garrett do it for a minute. And that was what I was going to do. Mm 
Hold the hands. Hold it with your hands and throw it in the bowl. All right. Now pick it up. Now put some of that in there. Put that in there. Go like that. Get the dough to come off into the onto the. Hey, it's not too bad. It looks like it's gonna be some pretty yummy dough. Looks like it's gonna be some pretty yummy rolls. Think so? Yep. And I said which one I like better. Okay. I'm gonna get it. Don't get it on your shirt, buddy. Don't get it on your shirt. All right. All right, get it. Watch this. It feels pretty smooth. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Get it, help me. You mm -mm. guys are working together. No. Did Garrett keep it away from your shirt? Mm -mm 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 -mm. Let's roll it around. Hold on. Let's roll it around. All right, Asher, Let's we're going to need, need a bowl. lightly greased bowl. So we can use the same bowl, but I need you to get a paper towel or something and grease it a little bit. Let's go there. Now Garrett, do that. Uh, I don't want Garrett doing that. <laughs> Good chance. All right, Ashley, you're gonna get the grease. I'm a professional catcher. Uh, just the. Uh, yeah, just uh, the vegetable oil. Would be fine. Oil. We could use coconut oil. Mm-hmm. Bulk, 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 bulk. How you can make a smiley face? Smiley face. Yep. Do, do. You got it? Go ahead and grease the bowl. We're going to just use this bowl. No, 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 no. I'm good. It's just turn for a minute. I'm going to get it soon, okay? okay. <laughs> we could use a new bowl if you feel like washing that one. I could. We could also just pour a little bit of vegetable oil in there and swish, swish it around. I don't think there's any problem with using that bowl. Hold on. Let's not put it in there anymore. Uh, win. Don't screw it all the way on. Let's swish it around in. Let me see this. Go ahead and do what? Take this and just rub it around the edges of the bowl. You don't have to rub real hard. Just share, share the grease around it. Okay. Now his turn. Now Garrett's turn? Yeah. Alright, Garrett. One last turn for you, one last turn for me. No, one last turn for you. You've already had your last turn. Alright, Garrett. You do it. A little bit more and then throw it in the bowl, okay? Alright. Now we need to cover it with saran wrap. Throw it in there. Throw it in. Ready, set, throw it. Yeah! Alright. Put my hands together like this over the bowl. Actually, I'd rather you guys tap the pieces of dough that you have on your fingers. Let's tap them on there. If you do it this way, it comes off. Then okay. Can... Now we need to cover it with saran wrap. Uh, um, Can I get it? Okay. It says cover with saran wrap and set in a warm place. Where's a warm place, guys? Our whole Outside. house is kind of warm right now. Outside. I don't think it has to be that warm. But you know what? Whenever we... Hot air is lighter than cold air. So... Typically, a warm place is on top of the refrigerator, but we have a vent, an air conditioning vent, over the top of our, air, our refrigerator, so that might not be the best place for us. Maybe we should set it over here by the crock. That's a very warm place. Yeah, let's set it over here on the toaster oven, which is near the crock pot. Yeah, I don't want to risk. That should uh, be the right temperature. Back. All right, and now we're supposed to let it rest for one hour or until it has doubled in size. Hello! Hello, Daddy's home! Daddy's home! Good morning, Daddy! Good morning, Daddy! Good morning! <laughs> Good afternoon! Alright, what time will it be in an hour? It'll be 5 o'clock already. The area and uh, 
I'm ready to start rolling this out. I'm not going to do this part with the voice this time. Um, oh wow, it's very... When I lift up, it's much more wet on the bottom, which of course I took off the uh, plastic wrap early too, but it's got a lot of air in it. You can see a lot of kind of um, spongy, wet, spongy sort of feeling on the bottom. We get the kind of netted, I don't know if you can see that texture. It's kind of got an odd texture to it. Anyway, it's very different on the it's kind of leathery here, and it's kind of wet here. I'm going to put the wet side down on the flower. It says to roll it out to a 14 inch circle. I think it's good I'm doing this by myself this first time. The kids will get to eat and enjoy these tonight and this other batch will be done in about uh, 36 minutes. This other batch will be ready to roll out and do this step. But I'll have already done it, so I can probably lead the kids through it a little bit better that way. So it says to take, and they might be able to come along, I think they're about done with bath time after their water play. I'm hearing them right now. So you guys get to wash up. I bet you guys are going to want to do some of this. But you're going to watch me for the most part on this one. We're going to make the other. Put your clothes on. Put your clothes on. I'll bathe. I'll bathe? Yeah. Well, before we mess with food, we always wash our hands. Our right. hands? Yeah. Bye. No bite in the marshmallows right now. So I've dipped it in the butter and now I'm rolling it in the cinnamon sugar. Watch me do at least this one, and then you can do. So this is the marshmallow. Is what color? Brown. Right now it is brown. What color is the marshmallow before I put it in the spices? White. And what white represents purity, like the absence of sin. So guess what the marshmallow represents? Fire. Hmm. Purity. Purity. Yeah. Who who was pure? Who was the only Jesus. one without sin? Jesus. So the marshmallow represents Jesus. Jesus. Jesus's body. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Go ahead and grab one, and you can do it too. So the marshmallow represents Jesus's body, and when he died on the cross, they took him down from the tomb on the day that he died. Oh yeah, I think you're covering Jesus with spices. Yes, and I don't know how many spices they were able to use that day, but I do know it wasn't enough, or they wouldn't have been coming back with more spices on Sunday. They still felt the need to Happy use birthday. more spices on Sunday, because that's what the ladies were going to go do. But they did prepare him for burial somewhat on the day that he died and then they buried him in the tomb and this each of these slices each of these triangles right here represents the rocky tomb that Jesus died in now or that was buried in
And Cameron's day? No. Cameron's mm -hmm. birthday? No. No. Birthday. You're gonna blow the candle. Yeah. Okay. He's got a. So it looks like a screwdriver with a blue Play-Doh flame at the top of it, and he's blowing on the blue Play-Doh flame. Actually is blow, blow. Round file. Around file. Around file. Okay. All right. And then you've got the last one there. Right. Oh. Yeah. Feels like I'm running it. You're not running it. Just mm. 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 So we need um, Asher and Daddy to come in here. Do you want to wash your hands real fast? And you'll get Asher and Daddy to come in for this stuff? Oh, Asher, wash up. We need to. I'm sending stuff after you and Daddy. Go get Daddy. What is this? Can I go get Daddy? Yeah. What is this? This one didn't look covered well enough, so I'm going to get it. Cover better. We have some extra cinnamon sugar mixture here. Don't mind. Get back a little bit. He was using it as a candle and had a blue Play-Doh flame at the top of it. Oh, thanks. He said he's using it as a candle. He had a blue Play-Doh flame at the top of it and was singing Happy Birthday. So we are at the stage now where we can all work on this. So if these are marshmallows, and the white marshmallows represent um Jesus. Which is pretty fitting, you know, like the white is cool because of Jesus' purity, sinlessness. There's not any of us who've not sinned, but Jesus is without sin completely, so. We can reflect on that, thinking about the marshmallows. And then the cinnamon sugar mix represents the spices that they would have, um, they only had minimal spices, I believe, that day that Jesus died, and they did whatever they could that day and wrapped his um, body for burial. And now. It is time for the saddest part of their of that experience for some of the for like Joseph of Arimathea and the ladies because they had to bury Jesus. So what we're going to do now is we're each going to grab one of these and we're going to seal Jesus in the tomb. Okay. Okay. So you guys take one and seal it up. Come here, Greg, you wanna watch? Yeah. Well, come here. No, don't need a marshmallow right now. Alright, you're gonna each of us can seal up two of them. You guys, get in there. There's plenty. I was afraid there wouldn't be enough dough to really make this easy to do, but there's plenty of dough. So it actually, it's a little bit of excess. See, we're looking inside of there. There's a marshmallow. There's a marshmallow in there. Yeah, it me. represents Jesus' body. Yeah, me. He was sealed in the tomb. Yeah, me. When Jesus did yeah. <laughs> <laughs> The exact right interpretation of Easter. Uh, what is this? Do you just want to hold him while I do yours? Sure. Alright. Watch Garrett. Alright, Garrett, look. Hmm. The this marshmallow represents when 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 we celebrate hold on, hold on. When we celebrate Easter. We remember first that Jesus died on the cross for our mm -hmm. sins. for our sins. The marshmallow is to remind us that Jesus died. Jesus gave his life for us and he was crucified on the cross. That means he was killed on the cross, but and then he was buried and he was sealed in the tomb. See, we have to seal it up. Oh. I got some in Garrett and Seth's hair. Alright. Garrett understands food. Alright. So Jesus' body was buried in the tomb. Well, that was sad. Say, oh no. I guess so. Alright, we need a cookie sheet out. Oh, we need to cover this with a tea towel, it said. Well, let's go ahead and get the, let's go ahead and get the cookie sheet out. Okay. 
So the other one's already risen about as much as this one. And we still have 24 minutes left on it. How do you spell towel? I don't think it really matters as long as it's something that keeps the moisture in. Can we have a clean hand towel? I'm curious. How do you spell tea towel? Okay, T E A. So, so that was the microfibrous towels of that day. In the 17th dimension, there were. Dimension? <laughs> <laughs> the 17th, 17th century? Dimension, that's what I'm talking about. Oh, dimension. you really do mean dimension? <laughs> yeah. Wait, it shows now it's called the 17th dimension has uh, but giant butterflies, they have laser eyes. Oh. Okay, so the oven's up to 225, 227. Be back. Don't, don't lick it or anything, that's what you're saying? Okay, they're going in. Oven. And we forgot to tell the kids that if we do it, we've got to seal them really well. Oops, okay. So as you can see, we have a hollow tube there, but we've got this coat marshmallow because we can seal well. Stay back, it's real hot. I think that one's fine. Oh, Look, at the tube is empty. Look at that. Where'd the marshmallow go? That is how Mary and the other ladies who went to the tomb felt. Isn't it? When they went to the tomb and found it empty, they were like, where did Jesus go? So they love Jesus more than we love marshmallows. Way more, right? And this is marshmallows that's going there. Yeah, that one's mine. That one and... Let's see. Yeah. So let cool on a wire, wire back and then peek inside. So we'll let them cool just a little bit. Dad. Yeah. We've got them sitting on top of that bowl there. Look in here. Oh, that's here. Ooh, let's look inside of it. Okay, Garrett, come here. Okay. Look inside. No. No marshmallow anymore. It's empty. Can I look inside mine? When Mary and the other ladies came to the tomb to look for Jesus, they were going, well, they were going to roll away the, well, they, they didn't know how they were going to roll away the stone, but they were going to look in there for Jesus, and they were going to wrap Jesus' body, but then Jesus was gone. Jesus was laid in the tomb, but then Jesus wasn't there. But there was an angel who told them that not to be afraid to go tell the others that Jesus is risen. He is risen from the dead. He didn't stay dead. He raised himself from the dead. Let's see, what's the timer for? Are we going to eat some? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. Yeah. I decided to drizzle a little bit of the extra butter butter mixture that we have hot, over the hot, top. Hot, this isn't too hot for me to hold, so I don't think it'd be too hot for you to bite. Come over here. Alright, Garrett's gonna get a bite. Uh, a little like bite. <laughs> but not a big bite. He likes it. Big bite? Not a big bite yet. Is it good? Yeah. Yeah. He likes it. Alright. Seth, you get a bite to the camera, a little bite. I'm going to take it to the table. Come on, here. Mm -hmm. Seth. This is good. Come on, Seth. Half. Half one. Half one.
How you going, camera? Huh? You're welcome. Oh yeah, thanks so long. So the lady who did these on the thing I found on the internet, the you call them, just written. She had some a sugar milk, a powdered sugar milk mixture that she was able to drizzle across over the top of them, and I think that's really neat. But I didn't get to it. Mmm. And there's a the hollow tomb on the inside of that. That's really yummy. Those were super yummy, and now if you can see this, it's definitely super risen. Yummy. Super yummy. Our Easter rolls, our resurrection rolls, that showed that yummy, Jesus yummy, raised yummy. from the dead were yummy, yummy, yummy. We enjoyed those a lot with our dinner. Um, yeah. And so now this is our second batch, and I'm going to just roll these out. Um, and get them wrapped up and prepared and then um, put them in the freezer and we will have them again on Easter day. We're going to have, this year we're going to have a turkey dinner for our Easter meal and I'm kind of thinking that we will have these with our turkey dinner. Um, turkey dinner? Yep, yeah, but this is definitely, everybody agreed, this is a new uh, Easter tradition for us to do this at some point during the season. And um, you want to see? Yeah. Okay. I see that here. No, look. What is it? What is that? I look here. You want to look here? Yeah. Over there, I'm trying to untie Seth's shoes, so you're going to have to go wash your hands. Asher, will you please help Garrett wash his hands? Wash his hands. No. You. No. Garrett. No. Thank you, Asher. I, huh? Thank you, Asher. We're gonna wash hands. Oh, did you hit your bottom? Oh, that hurts. Oh, how did he do that? You playing with him? Uh, he screwed back into the chair. Oh. Huh? Although it is a little disconcerting when your four-year-old says uh, yummy to Jesus' body being <laughs> resurrected or and or going into the tomb. Garrett, your hands are clean. Are you going to come roll this out a little bit? Your hands are clean now. Get, let's get you the stool. Okay. Off. All right. Off. I'm up here. Okay. Okay. Let's reach here. Let me see if I can turn you to the side. <clears throat> All right. Now go this way. Okay. I'm good. Okay. Decide, okay. All right, thank you. No, we can't eat it yet. Let's measure it though. Yeah. No, 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 no. <laughs> Let's not smash the ruler into it. Let's just look at it a little bit. Let's see, is it about 14 inches? Looks like it's more about 13 that way. And maybe 12 and a half to 13 that way. So our mommy's going to roll just a little bit more, okay? Okay, can you roll just a little bit more that way? All the way to the end. There. All right, now let's turn it this way. All right. Now, we're going to roll from the middle, and we're going to roll it this way some. And then we're going to roll from the middle, and we're going to roll all the way that way. Can you go all the way over? Look. 
Good. All the way that way. And get a little bit more. There we go. All right. And now we're going to go to the corner just a little bit. Just a little bit. Watch out, watch out. It'll poke holes in it, okay? Mm -hmm. oh, oh. We want to try and... Oh, that's another line there. Okay. There we go. And that way. Okay. I think that's going to be good. Okay, now you can help me with this part too. If you let me hold, help you hold your hand, okay? Okay. okay. We're gonna, we have to divide it into eight pieces. So we're going to divide it in half first. We're going to go through the middle. All right. And now we're going to turn it and we're going to go through the middle again. Ready? Yeah. Okay. Now we're going to turn it and we're going to go through the middle again. Ready? All right, now we're going to turn it, and we're going to go through the middle again. Okay, we did it. All right, in case of the cinnamon or something, I guess. Okay. Now we need... I guess I'm going to go ahead and let you do this, and I'll just help you wash your hands again. Okay, this is what you have to do. Okay. Okay. You're going to Tap you're it. going to dip the marshmallow in the butter. Hold the marshmallow and dip it in the butter. No, nope. don't eat it. Now roll it a little bit. Okay. Now we're gonna pick it up and we're gonna put it in the sugar. Okay. Roll it. Look at it. Here. Help me roll it. No, no, don't, don't smash it. Just roll it gently all over it. Get sugar all over it. You see the white spot? Cover it up. This represents Jesus' body. When he died, they had to wrap his body in spices. Look what that is. Okay. He, you you want to wash your hands? Yeah. Why don't we finish our job first and then go wash, okay? You get plenty of sugar on there. Don't wrap it all over our rolls. Are you all done? Do you want to get down? You want to do any more? Nope. You're all done? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to have you wash your hands, but then you're going to go play with Asher or something, okay? Or do you want to help me some more? Movie. Do you want... Nope, no movie. You've already done with your TV time today. Do you want to help me do another marshmallow? Yeah. Okay. Here we go. Rice. No, no, no. Let's not squish it. Okay, can you roll it in the butter? It's okay that your hands are messy. We'll wash them when you're all done, okay? So I'm making these. Oh, I already told you that, that I'm going to freeze these. <sighs> I'm not going to cook them first. I'm going to go ahead and freeze them all. Here, Garrett, let's not spread it all over your hands. Can you roll it in the sugar? Can you roll it around like this? See mommy rolling it gently? Try not to rub the sugar off. We want to keep the sugar on, okay? Smack? A little bit. Not, not very much. Just roll it. Look. It'll pick up the sugar all by itself if you just roll it around. Can you put it... No, no, no. Uh, Garrett, stop smashing it. Garrett, stop smashing. Just roll it. Okay. There. Now pick it up. And set it in the middle. Okay, let's do another one. So you can see his hands are absolutely covered. He's trying to rub it on me. I might have him get down pretty soon. You're going to have to try to do a little bit better or we're going to have to get down, okay? Me? Yeah. All right. Mommy doesn't want to spread all of it. Whoa. Yeah. We're starting to get too messy. Yeah. Do you want to Do you want to go wash up? Yeah. Okay. You, you'll do better at this job next year probably, huh? All done. All right. I'm going to holler for Asher to help. Okay. Okay. Hey, Asher, please come help. But you got to help me with two, right? Right. Right. Uh, all right, would you help him wash his hands again? He's all done now. I'm going to help. Yes, Thank you.
So if you've got little ones helping, you might end up with the need for more of the cinnamon sugar mix. Because yeah, I'm about to use up all of it on this marshmallow and I could even stand to use some more on it. I'm going to go ahead and set it here and make up some more. Okay, I'm back and I just decided to go ahead and mix it up in the same uh, ratio I did before. And then I'm going to bring up, so I'm bringing up the, uh, tri the corners of the triangle, like this, and then I'm I'm sealing up, pinching closed the sections. I'm going to even twist that a little bit right there. And then I'm coming back over and I'm kind of folding it. over to the side. I don't know how well you can see that. But you can play with it. Get it however you want it to look. Just make sure to seal the marshmallow in. So I'm going to bring my corners up again. Alright. I think they're done. With the towel I covered the others with before they went into the oven while they freeze too. And while I make room in the freezer.